In this video, I will explain how to use for variable kmap. Let a, b, c and d are four variables. Then 2 power 4 that is 16. So the four variable kmap consists of 16 cells. It looks like this. Let me write two variables here. We are supposed to write two variables here and two variables will be written here or we can write AB here and CD here. It doesn't make any difference. I will see how to give the minor numbers to each row and each columns. So here in four variable kmap, we have four rows and four columns. So we are supposed to use gray coding to give to assign binary number to each rows and each columns because in gray coding, we know that 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. There is a one bit difference from one number to another number. Here we can see there is a one bit difference from here to here. There is one bit difference from here to here. And there is one bit difference from here to here. Similarly, from here to here, there is one bit difference. So we'll assign these numbers on the rows and columns. That is 0, 0. This is 0, 0. Next one is 0, 1. Next one is 1, 1. And next one is 1, 0. Similarly, here we can give 0, 0, 0, 1. Then 1, 1. And we have 1, 0. So here in all columns, first variable is with respect to C, second variable is with respect to D. If variable, if number is 0, it indicates the variable is complement. If number is 1, it indicates direct variable. For example, 0, 0 means it is C bar and it is D bar. So here 0, 1 means it is C bar and it is D. Likewise, it is C, D. Likewise, it is C, D bar. Similarly here, this is A bar, B bar. It is A bar, B. This is a b, this is a p bar. Now we will give the cell numbers using decimal notation. So now I will assign decimal number to each cell. 0, 0, 0, 0 is equivalent to decimal 0. 0, 0, 0, 0 1 is equivalent to decimal 1. 0, 0, 1, 1 is equivalent to decimal 3. And 0, 0, 1, 0 is equivalent to decimal 2. Similarly here, 0, 1, 0, 0 is 4, this is 5, 0, 1, 1, 1 is 7 and this one is 6. Similarly, 1, 1, 0, 0 means it is 12, 1, 1, 0, 1 means it is 13, 1, 1, 1, 1 is 15, 1, 1, 1, 0 is 14. So here we have 1, 0, 0, 0 is 8 this is 9 similarly this is 1011 is 11 this one is 10 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then we should write 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so while doing simplification using four variable kmap the grouping of ones or zeros will be done such that if it is possible to do the 16 bit thing, 16 bit grouping, we are supposed to do that first. If not, we have to check for grouping of 8 bits. If not, we should check for grouping of 4 bits, that is called quad. If not, we should check for grouping of 2 bits, that is called pair. If all these are not possible, then we have to do independent grouping, that is considering only one, either 0 or 1. Here these all cell numbers are adjacent to each other. 2 is adjacent to 10. Similarly, 0 is adjacent to 8. Similarly, 8, 9, 10, 11 are adjacent to 0, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, 2, 6, 14, 10 cells are adjacent with 0, 4, 12 and 8 cells. Now consider a few examples that how to do the grouping of ones in case of 4 variable KMF. So look at this uh, K map. Here all the cell consists of 1. Therefore we can do the grouping of all 16 numbers in a single group. So we can do the grouping like this. And the value of this is 
always one now look at this k map here at cell 0 1 2 3 there are ones and at cell 8 9 10 11 are ones so 0 1 2 3 cell are adjacent to 8 9 10 11 so we can do the grouping of this one with this one that is nothing but 8 bit grouping and the value for this is so here in this row and in this row we supposed to find the common variable here 0 is the common variable so 0 is with respect to b bar so b bar is one term and with respect to column it covers all the columns so there is no any common variable and its value is 1 therefore on simplifying this k map will get the variable as b bar similarly here also we have 0 4 12 8 and 2 6 14 10 are adjacent to each other we can do the grouping of these two as a 8 bit grouping so value of this one is now we supposed to find the common factor between this column and this column that is here common factor is 0 and here is 0 that is d bar the value of this one is d bar so now look at this k map so here 0 1 2 3 there are ones in 4 5 6 7 there are ones we can do one group of 8 the value of this will be calculated as so it covers these two rows the common factor in this row is 0 so 0 is with respect to a bar and in these all ones cover all four columns so its value is 1 so a bar dot 1 is a bar itself then here we have one here we have we have one we can do these two ones as a pair but if possible if cord is possible we should prefer doing cord instead of pair so using 2 6 14 10 we can do a quad that is instead of doing these two as a pair i will consider two more cells 2 6 and i will make it as quad the value of this will be written as it belongs to this column 1 0 that is c d bar and as it covers all the rows so its value is 1 so now look at the remaining ones here we have 1 and here we have 1 so this one and this one can with this one and this one we can do a pair or with this one and this one we can do a pair so i will consider these two so value of this is with respect to row it is a b bar and with respect to these two column the common factor is 1 which is with respect to c so here we have 1 so this one can be combined with this and we can do a pair the value of this is it belongs to the column 0 1 that is c bar d c bar d and between these two rows the common factor is 1 1 is with respect to b so that is b c bar d so thus we have covered all ones once if we covered all ones we have to stop this process now come back to this uh, k map here we find that the ones are placed diagonally there is no any adjacent ones to do the grouping so all these should be considered as an independent grouping this is one group the value of this is a bar b bar c bar d bar a bar b bar c bar d bar likewise for this the value is it belongs to the row a bar b a bar b and belongs to the column c bar d c bar d similarly for this the value is row is a b and column is c d and here we have one so with respect to this one the row is a b bar and column is c d bar consider an, another 16 4 variable k map here any quad is not possible so we can do a pair with respect to these two ones the value will be here it belongs to the row this one and this one the common factor is 1 
that is A and belongs to the column C D bar. Now here we have another one one we can do again here a pair. The value of this will be here it is common factor is B and with respect to column it is C D. Then here we can do this as a pair. The value will be here in these two columns the common factor is 0 that is C bar and with respect to row it is A bar B A bar B now here we have we can find one more one so this is it is not possible to do any kind of grouping so it should be considered as independent so this is independent grouping the value of this will be with respect to row it is A B bar and column c bar d and here we have one this one find the pair with this one so here the common factor is a bar and here it is c bar d bar so this is how we can simplify the given canonical sop using four variable k map let me consider one example now consider one example find the minimum sum of products expression for the given function f is equal to summation m 0 2 3 5 6 7 11 12 13 so these all are min term numbers so min terms is with respect to sum of products that is sop so here the maximum decimal number is 13 so to represent 13 in binary we need minimum 4 bits so to simplify this we supposed to use four variable k map let me assume a b c and d are the four variables let me draw the four variable k map as it contains four rows and four columns this is a four variable k map which contains four rows and four columns and it is having 16 cells and cell number varies from 0 to 15 so here the numbers which are given are the cell numbers of k map where we supposed to write 1 that is 0 at 0 we supposed to write 1 so this is 1 at 2 1 at 3 we supposed to write 1 at 5 it is 1 at 6 it is 1 at 7 it is 1 then at 11 it is 1 at 12 it is 1 at 13 it is 1 so so remaining cells are filled with zeros so now we supposed to do the grouping of ones because it is sop form so here looking at cell number 2367 there are ones so we can do the grouping of four bits here that is nothing but quad so we'll get one quad here it belongs to these two columns the common factor in these two column is one so one is with respect to c so it is one term is c one literally c it also belongs to these two rows that is this row and this row here the common factor is zero so zero is with respect to a so it is a bar c a bar or a bar c so now we'll concentrate on different ones so here this one and this one together we can make a pair now we'll write the expression for this it belongs to these two rows the common factor is one so one is belongs to b b and with respect to column we have c bar d c bar d now look at the ones so here we have one this one and this one together we can form one more pair So for this I can write so it belongs to these two column the common variable is 0 is that is nothing but C bar and it belongs to the row where 1 1 it is nothing but a b a and b 
so here we can find one so there is no any adjacent ones to make a pair so take it as independent variable so value of this will be a bar b bar c bar d bar a bar b bar c bar d bar and here we have one so this one can be done pair with this one the value of this is now compare the first row and this row here common factor is zero that is b bar and with respect to this column it is one one that is cd so therefore so so in this k map all ones are covered so we should stop this process therefore f is equal to we'll write all the product terms that is a bar c we have b bar c d plus b bar c d plus we have b c bar d plus we have a b c bar a b c bar plus we have a bar b bar c bar and d bar a bar b bar c bar and d bar so this is the simplified expression for the given function thank you for watching